Hi everybody, it's Rachel from Sprinkle Some Fun again. And today, I don't know if you can see this, but we are making mocha cookie frozen coffee. And I'm here with my daughter Brielle. She wanted to help me today because, I mean, who does not want that? Mm -hmm. Yes, this is actually a post that I did around three years ago and it was it became extremely popular really quickly hey Vanessa how are you doing and um, it was back when Starbucks came out with their cookie crumble uh, frappuccino and I thought hmm I wonder if I can make this at home and so I tried it out and I mean I really don't have their recipe or anything and they are in no way affiliated with me or my blog, but um, I went ahead and I think it tastes pretty darn close. So anyway, that's what we will be doing today. So I hope that you enjoy this live video. Hopefully I can get, let's see, there we go. All right, so sit down with me. First, you're going to make coffee ice cubes. Now the reason why I take the step to make coffee ice cubes is because when we put all of this into the blender, the coffee ice cubes will make it to where our frozen coffee is nice and not watered down at all. And I love the way that it turns out when we use the coffee ice cubes. And to make your coffee ice cubes, I suggest getting a really concentrated coffee or using espresso. And today I'm gonna to show you how to do that using espresso. And um, I'm also gonna show you my absolutely, my favorite machine that I got right before Christmas. This is kind of my splurge for myself and I was actually telling my friend Vanessa about this the other day this is the Mr. Coffee Cafe Barista and I'll have a link to this uh, an affiliate link to this um, in my profile later <laughs> and um, I use this every single day now um, there was a point when I was going to the coffee house a little bit more than I should have and so I finally decided okay I've got to start making really great coffee at home and honestly I like this even better than the drinks that I got at the coffee house so if you are in the market for one of these I mean you in no way have to use this to make your mocha coffee uh, I'm just going to put this in parentheses, like a frappuccino, because I don't really know if I can actually use that word. So we're just going to call it frozen coffee, but it's our little coffee cat. Anyway, you, you in no way have to use this. You can make a concentrated coffee by using extra grinds in your brew, which it will still taste great because we're going to put lots of cream and sugar in there. But the main thing is, is that you want it to be extra strong. Okay, a little explanation there. You want to help out, Bria? Yeah. My girls love to use this machine too. And we actually grind our own beans. Yeah, we're getting serious about this coffee thing. So, anyway, we grind our own beans. Hi, Tori. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> I'm glad you all could join us. All right, take those beans and you know what to do. We're gonna make our espresso. There we go. And this is, and no, this is really not a fancy machine, um, but I think it pulls a pretty decent shot of espresso. I do not drink espresso on its own normally. So if you're a person that drinks your espresso on your own, I mean just by itself, you may, not, may or may not like this, but what this machine does is it 
actually froth milk over here and maybe a little bit more. What Brielle is doing is she is putting the coffee grinds into the porta filter and she is champing it. She's a little barista here. And my mom has joined. Hey mom. Say hi to grandma. <laughs> hi. Oh, and I have to tell you all this story of today that actually happened to Brielle. You want me to tell them the story about the beans? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I mean this has really never happened to yeah. us before. But I walked outside because we were going to dance and then these whole swarm of bees were above my head. But I didn't scream because I knew that they would sting me if I did scream. Yes, she was very brave. She walked into a swarm of bees not knowing it. Actually, they came upon her. Like, she walked outside and then they all came down and they were hovering around her. But she very calmly walked in and she kind of freaked out once she got inside <laughs> and, you know, did the shivery thing. But she's okay and the bees are all okay. They. Millions. They did their thing. Millions and then they left. Them. So. It was like that big. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of exciting today. I hope they found a place they could do their little hive but not near our house. Far away from our house. We, that's what we would prefer, but we like bees. We like what they do. And yes, she's a very brave girl. <laughs> okay, now we have our espresso shot and we're going to pull the shot. I really don't know all the words for these things. Maybe my sister could chime in and help us out. She worked at Starbucks for a while. Anyway, it's kind of hard to do backwards, obviously. <laughs> Sorry, real. There you go. And just put that in there. And then here's the espresso button. There's actually three buttons to this machine. Espresso, cappuccino, and latte. And you could do... A double shot of espresso and that's what we're doing here because we have the bigger uh, thing on the on the porta filter I don't know what you call them but um, so you could do a large latte and it actually steams the milk for you and puts it into the cup which is great anyway I just really like this machine that's why I'm talking about it are you okay yes what let me guess huh Really? You tasted the coffee grinds? <laughs> she just tasted coffee grinds, people. <laughs> Alright, anyways, I'm going to do the uh, double espresso. So here we go. I hope it works. <laughs> On live television. What did I do wrong? What's it doing? Oh, it's got to heat up. Yes. Oh. Well, we could do something in the meantime. Well, the other thing that you're going to need for your mocha cookie frozen coffee is a blender. And I highly suggest a higher, higher powered uh, blender because we are going to be using the coffee ice cubes once we get those made. And uh, I just like a really smooth type of coffee, but, you know, honestly, any kind of blender will do, and um, it'll make a nice coffee, but I really like Ninjas. I'm sure there's fancier ones out there, but uh, this one has done me really well throughout the years, so I'll have a link to that also if you don't have one or need one. Okay. Okay. Yay, we're re we're in business. Okay. And right now we're going to be making the espresso. Here we go. And if you're just joining in, we are making a mocha cookie frozen coffee that tastes <coughs> excuse me. A lot like a coffee house. 
Actually, I think it tastes a little bit better. Anyways, we're making Coffee House frozen coffee. They're also called frappes or frappuccinos, but technically I'm probably not supposed to be using any words that are copyright. I don't know. I don't know what the legal terms are, but this is just coffee cat. This is not the actual recipe. <laughs> do not have a machine to make espresso, that is perfectly fine. Um, just use a very concentrated coffee. <coughs> Excuse me, I guess I need some water. Can you get it? Yeah, if you could, please. <coughs> please. <laughs> Alright, so all you do is you're going to pour your espresso into the ice cube tray. And I will not make you all wait <laughs> the couple of hours for our espresso to freeze. <coughs> because we already have a whole tray made. And um, you will need the whole tray if you want to make a couple of servings. And I think my recipe, I think it makes at least two servings depending on the serving size that you like. <coughs> Thank you. Okay, let me pull up this recipe real quick. Tell them um, about your dance. Okay. Uh... We're going to have a recital in how many weeks? A couple weeks. Tell them what you do. Tell them about what you do in, in dance. Acro. It's called acro. It's like gymnastics. And we're doing mm -hmm. a song. Dancing to a song. And we had this dance to the whole song, which is like 3 minutes and 40 seconds. Yep. And we're doing good. It's and we just need to practice because we finished the song, but we need to like fix some some stuff up. And so, like this, we're gonna have a, the recital at the school. It's gonna be a lot of people. <laughs> They're really excited. This is gonna be their first recital. So. And our our <laughs> costumes are really pretty. They are very pretty. Maybe we'll show them next week. Okay. <coughs> oh my goodness. It is definitely spring around here, and I think my allergies are starting up. So, sorry to be so boring, but <laughs> this part of the thing, let's see, we've got Callie. She's watching live. Yay! <laughs> I'm so glad you could join. Okay. So, make a full tray of the coffee ice cubes and like I said you can use espresso shots you can use a really concentrated coffee but I highly suggest making those because that's what makes our drink frozen all right you want to go get our tray of already made coffee and some milk yes okay good Alright, so the recipe calls for three-fourths to one cup of milk, and I put that on there because just depending on how big your ice cube tray is and how much it holds, it may be a little bit different, so you kind of have to play around with the ratios just a little bit, but they should be all about the same. Let's see, Let's see if they will pop out. Huh? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Thank you, sweetie. And if you could run those under, like, run the bottom. Under hot water? Yeah. Can you do that? Alright, good job. Okay. So, I will add the cup of milk. I 
I don't know why, but I got out the quarter cup measuring. We kind of rushed home and then rushed around to get all of this ready, so we're a little bit less prepared this week, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Now, what makes it cookie is we are using these mini Oreos. You can use regular Oreos as well. Thank you, sweet. Oh yeah, those will pop up much better. See how cool are those? That's our coffee that's frozen into ice. We're just gonna add all of it. You wanna start getting those out? Oh, back to the Oreos. Um, I just use the mini ones because they have a little bit less of the cream filling in them. <coughs> but you can use regular Oreos, but I would pull out most, I would take all out most of the cream. Do we need all of them in there? <coughs> oh my goodness. Yes, all of them. The whole tray full. She's got the good nose. <laughs> oh, and back to the Oreos again. <laughs> I keep getting distracted. But um, I can also use the mini Oreos because they have a little bit less cream. And so let's see. I have to, I have to go back to the recipe because it's hard for me to remember these things. A quarter cup of crushed Oreos cookies. Well, I'm, I'm not going to try these because I don't want to taste it. <laughs> yeah, do not try the, I mean, unless you really love coffee, I wouldn't try these on their own. Might not taste too good. And a quarter cup. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more. I love Oreos. You want to see if maybe we could just dump them out? Yeah. Let's see. I may regret this. Oh my gosh. There we go. Uh, you have three more. Two. Zero. Okay. And it didn't This break. is obviously... I don't know. I think this is about oh, a cup around a cup, maybe a cup and a half worth of coffee. So it makes a very strong drink and you can always add more cream or sugar, whatever you like. Um, let's do two tablespoons of sugar. What do you need, sweet? Okay. All right, we've got the sugar. That's two tablespoons. It might be a little bit sweet, but. You can bring it over here. Yeah. Oh, can I have the syrup? I think it's in that bag over there. And we'll also need two tablespoons of chocolate syrup. We are just using Hershey's. I just bought this. Here, I'll put the lid on it. I mean, you could just pour it in if you feel like it. But <laughs> I like to be precise. So. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm going to go blend this. And in the meantime, let's see. Time, um, let me know what your favorite coffee drink is. 
I would love to know, is it a macchiato? Is it a frappuccino? Is it a, what's your favorite coffee drink? Latte. She likes latte. I like lattes. Small. I like macchiatos. Caramel macchiato. Yeah, we're dorks. We washed out our coffee cup so that it would look like the real thing. So. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go blend this. And in the meantime, if you will, get out, let's see. We need, oh, this still has water in it. We need to make the chocolate whipped cream. We need a quarter cup of sugar, one cup of whipping cream. So I'll go get that for you, okay? and do two of these because that's a half a cup and then I'll be right back, okay? Actually calls for cocoa powder. Two tablespoons of cocoa powder and one cup of whipping cream and a quarter cup of sugar. So we're just kind of winging it here. All right, I'm gonna kind of clean off everything here. And you want me to stir it? Up? Yeah, just kind of stir it with that. It's fine. I'll be right. Whip, yeah. This recipe does call for a couple of things, like your blender and a mixer, because if you've ever had to whip cream by hand, it does take a long, long time. So I highly suggest having a Hope you all can see this. Let's see. My mixer is well loved. We use it all the time. Yes. 
hair is makeup and all the time. I have actually had this mixer since I was married. My yeah, godparents got it to me, gave it to me. Let's see. That's good. We need a napkin. God damn it. And I'm very grateful for it because KitchenAid kitchen mixers definitely live up to all the height that they are. They're great. He says you got ten conversational starter. Ten comments so far. Ten comments so far. Alright, so right now we are making the chocolate whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like that. That was really good. Uh, <laughs> that was really good. Okay. I need the spoon. 
Now this is one of the best parts, obviously, is the whipped cream on top. Now, I normally put this on uh, by piping it on <laughs> to make it a little bit fancier. But, I don't want to bore y'all, so I'm not doing that tonight. But it doesn't matter because it's all about the taste. And, let's see. Ooh, let's make it a little bit fancy. I like these little mini Oreos. Put some right there. Maybe, maybe a couple of them. Make it a little fancy. What do you think? Good. You like the whipped cream? You yeah. can try it. Uh oh. <laughs> mm. Alright, should we put the lid on? <laughs> Your cage stuff. I can't get out. There we go. And there we go. Oh, I don't want to show that because it's not the real thing. But there you go. Mocha cookie frozen coffee, and I will have a link up in just a few minutes where you can get it, get the recipe on my website. And this is great to have. This recipe is great to have during the summer when it's getting hot outside, but you still want to enjoy coffee. Whoa, this thing is huge. <laughs> it's really heavy. All right. And we hope you have a wonderful day. And you don't you wanna say anything else? Stay away from the bee swarms. Hopefully yes. that you won't <laughs> get stung by any bees this spring. You shake like crazy. Yeah. <gasps> and enjoy some coffee. Thank you for watching and I will have the links up in a minute. Thank you. Bye.